Right. For us to clearly understand um, what we are talking about here, we, we need to go a little bit into some technical bits. So we are holding the Bible written in the English language or whatever language you are reading your Bible. But obviously, we all know that the original Bible was not written in English. The original Old Testament Bible was written in Hebrew, mostly. And the original New Testament was written in Greek. So the job of the translator of the Bible or any ancient uh, document is to translate from the original language into our own language. And that has its challenges. Obviously, there's the challenge of the changes that has taken place, the internal changes that has taken place in the original language themselves. So that is one. And also the challenge of translating from one language to another, because this language have different alphabets, uh, different idioms, different culture, different practices. And as you are translating from one language to another language, you need to have all this in mind. Is that okay? Right. So then the other thing, uh, focusing on the Old Testament, now the Hebrew scripture. Now, the original Hebrew scroll was written without the vowels. Okay. Now, the thought is that this was done because so as to conserve space, obviously, because in those days, um, there are very limited uh, number of materials to write on that are available to describe. So they remove the vowel so that they only write in consonants. Now, that was not a problem because as you are reading, you can supply the vowels. It's very easy for you to know what the vowels are so so and people use this day in day out so it was it was not a problem in those days for people to be able to supply the vowel for example the word vowel that i've written down there let me write it again so if you remove the vowel from this like from this word vowel and you are left with just the consonant and that is the way we will write vowel in those days now i'm not and Hebrew scholar, I'm way, way not in here. Yet. Okay, and the issue I'm dealing with here is much more technical than what I'm saying, but I'm simplifying it. And I think we have enough information here to understand what we are saying. So, so when you take the Hebrew uh, Bible, the original Hebrew Bible, in, in so what you have then is the consonant of all this this word that we're dealing with remember we are actually talking about the names of god and like i said i'm intending to focus on one of the names in particular because of the concerns that i have or some teachings the concerns that i have or some teachings that are creeping in into the church and I'm trying to talk about this technical bit because in talking about this concern, this issue, we need to understand this technical bit. So let me recap where we are. So originally, when the Hebrew scripture was written, they were written without the vowels. Okay. Somewhere before the Lord Jesus was born, a special group of scribes then took the Bible, obviously by now we have more write, writing materials available, took the Bible and they supply the vowels into it. Okay? So that the vowels were input back into the original Bible. Right. And this is where it is important for us now to talk about the name of God that I was talking about that is what people call Yahweh or some people call it Jehovah and there are other various variants in between that and I was asking the question 
what is the correct pronunciation of this word what is the correct spell and does it really matter that we know the correct spelling that we know the correct pronunciation um have we lost something if we cannot pronounce it properly have we lost something if we cannot write it the exact way it was written before what led to this confusion in the first place is the name of god very very important is the name of god just this pronunciation and these letters that people are you know fighting about what does it mean the name so before we jump into this issue i will first of all back up to talk about the name of god in general and then we'll come back to this issue and let you know the reason why i'm getting a bit concerned about some of this teaching that uh i mean making the round in christianity 